Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you the new iPad Pro with the M2 chip. I'm going to talk about the new features and test it out by using my favorite apps. I'll also show you the accessories I got and do a quick refresh of my home screen. I'm upgrading from the 2017 second gen iPad Pro, but I do have my friend's M1 2021 iPad Pro here for comparison. Let's talk about the specs first. This iPad Pro comes with a new M2 chip, which Apple claims to be slightly faster than the M1 chip. And I'll be testing out the performance later in the video using my favorite apps. I mainly use my iPad for digital planning, journaling, note taking and drawing. So that's what I'm most interested in. It comes with the iPad OS 16 pre-installed and the M2 chip is able to make the most out of the new features. My favorites are being able to lift objects out of photos, images and videos and also being able to multitask with up to four apps in Stage Manager. I made an entire video going through the best iPad OS 16 features and some of them are only available on certain iPads and that's one of the main reasons why I upgraded from my 2017 iPad Pro iPad OS 16 introduces a new hover feature to the second gen Apple Pencil. The hover feature shows you a preview of what will appear before you actually touch the screen and text fields will expand when the Apple Pencil gets near to the screen. Apple claims the handwriting to text scribble feature is also slightly faster in the M2 iPad Pro. The design is the same as the M1 iPad Pro and only comes in space gray and silver. I really like the silver color, but it would have been nice to have some more color options like the brighter colors in the latest iPad range. The display, camera and battery life is also the same as the previous model. As part of the setup process, I'm going to put a case on the iPad, an Apple Pencil, as well as a screen protector. Since the design is identical to the M1 iPad Pro, the same case will fit both iPad models. I also picked up some Apple Pencil sleeves since all my previous ones are for the first gen Apple Pencil. I like to use a matte paper feel screen protector because it helps me to write neater. I already have a bunch of them, so I'm just going to choose one from my stash and hope it fits. I haven't found the perfect one yet, so I like to try out different brands. Next, I'm going to quickly refresh my home screen. This gradient wallpaper is a freebie that you can find linked in the description. And these widgets are mostly just made from images and quotes I found on the web. And I also have these custom app icons. I made an entire video on how I customize my iPad home screen. So check that out if you're interested in finding out more. Let's see how the M2 iPad Pro performs with my favorite apps. My channel is all about digital planning and my most used app is GoodNotes. I have my digital planner in here and I'm planning for the rest of the week and for the upcoming month. One of the main reasons I upgraded from my 2017 iPad Pro is because of the speed. I can definitely notice the speed improvement when tapping on hyperlinks, using my sticker books, dragging and dropping images and using the GoodNotes elements tool. Compared to the M1 iPad Pro, however, I feel like the speed improvement is not really noticeable and I would say that the performance between these two iPads appear to be similar. The one thing that is noticeably faster is the handwriting to text scribble feature. I tested this out and the M2 iPad Pro converts handwriting to text significantly faster than the M1. I use the scribble feature a lot for digital planning and journaling, so I'm really happy to see this improvement. Another reason why I upgraded is for the screen. You can see how clear and bright it is compared to my old iPad, but once again, you're not going to see any difference to the M1 iPad Pro. Another app I use all the time is Procreate, and I use this for drawing and making digital stickers. I think the Apple Pencil hover feature will be really useful for drawing because I often make a mark just to see how it looks and if the brush is the right size. So being able to preview it sounds very convenient and I can't wait for app developers to start making use of this feature. 
Here I'm showing how the hover feature works in the Notes app. You can see the preview of the mark and I'm not actually touching the screen. On my 2017 iPad Pro, sometimes it doesn't let me add any more layers to a project because this is determined based on the canvas size and how much RAM the iPad has. With this new iPad, I should be able to work with a lot more layers than before, which is going to be really convenient. I currently do all of my video editing for YouTube on my PC, but I'm really keen to see if I can edit on the iPad Pro using apps like LumaFusion. I played around with LumaFusion a little bit and didn't encounter any lag. Everything seems to work smoothly, so I'm excited to play with this more and see if I can transition more of my creative processes over to the iPad Pro. I believe Apple is moving towards having the iPad Pro being able to replace your laptop. Overall, I'm really happy to have the M2 iPad Pro coming from an older iPad model. I do, however, wish that more exciting features had come to this iteration of the iPad Pro because it does feel fairly similar in specs to the M1 iPad Pro. But for the things that I use it for, like digital planning, note-taking, journaling, and drawing, this iPad Pro is more than sufficient. Compared to my 2017 iPad Pro, my favorite apps like GoodNotes perform much faster, and I think the Apple Pencil hover feature could be pretty useful once more third-party apps make use of it. Compared to the M1 iPad Pro, I haven't noticed any significant performance improvement, except the handwriting to text scribble feature is definitely faster. So if I already owned the M1 iPad Pro, I probably wouldn't be tempted to upgrade to the M2. Thanks for watching my video and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What are your thoughts about the M2 iPad Pro? If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell as well so you get notified when I post new videos. Check out my other videos and I'll see you next time.